Hey there, it's time for this week's tech tip. Hopefully I'll have enough of these to keep going. We'll see. So I have a bunch of projects going on right now, and I've spent the last week or so investigating alternatives to SolidWorks. I'm sure that there are a lot of modders out there who would love to get their hands on some good parametric modeling software, but SolidWorks, as good as it is, is horribly, horribly expensive. Uh, I no longer have access to my copy of SolidWorks 2006, and that's kind of what launched me into this investigation. So here's what I found out, and I think you'll like it. The first program I tried out was a free piece of software called, well, FreeCAD, and um, that's not really ready for prime time yet, so just skip over that. I also tried uh, Geomagic Design as well as Cubify Design. Both of those were pretty good. Neither of them are free, uh, with Geomagic Design being the more complete of the two and the more useful of the two. I don't have a price for that just yet, I'm waiting to hear back from their reps, but my guess is that's probably somewhere north of $1,000, which is still far less expensive than SolidWorks, but still more than I'm willing to pay. After doing more research, I stumbled across a fairly new piece of CAD software called Onshape. Now, Onshape takes a very, very different approach to CAD. It's actually CAD in the cloud, which sounds crazy, but it's kind of neat because it runs on anything and everything since it's browser-based and uh, you can use it pretty much at any computer you're at. You just have to hop online and log in and you have access to everything. And it exports in pretty much any file format you want. It'll take in SolidWorks files, it'll spit out SolidWorks files, it'll export DXF and Parasolids and STLs and pretty much everything. And the best part is there's a free version. So let me show you that. Unshape is in beta right now, but it seems pretty full featured. That said, here are their current plans. As far as basic program functionality goes, the plans are pretty equivalent to each other. It doesn't really seem like they're limiting any significant features uh, based on which plan you pick, uh, aside from just some of the data management and enterprise stuff. The primary limitation of the free account, which I think will probably be the most attractive one to enthusiasts, because let's face it, 100 bucks a month is really for people who are making money using the software, is that uh, you're limited to 10 private documents, unlimited public documents, but only 10 private, uh, but I'll get into that in just a moment. It's not as bad as it sounds. Uh, and you're limited to 100 megs of storage for private documents. Now the five gig total limit, I don't think that'll be much of a, a problem for uh, most enthusiasts, but that 100 meg limit, that might uh, be the real catch. Here's the Onshape dashboard. This is the first thing you see when you uh, log in. It's where you manage all of your documents and parts and projects and all that jazz. As you can see, I have two of 10 private documents already, which are these guys right here, using eight of 100 megs of the private storage uh, and uh, eight of the 100 megs of the five gigs, which the five gigs, that's public storage. So if you're making things and your file size are getting really big, uh, and you don't really care if people can look at what you're making, then you can just make them uh, public documents and not have it impact your 100 meg private storage limit. Some of you are probably freaking out a little bit at the 10 document limit, but Onshape handles documents a little differently than most CAD programs. Each document here is actually a complete project, so within each document you can have as many Design Studio tabs or as many parts as you want, as well as assembly and subassembly tabs. So those things are not counted as separate documents. It bundles it all together in one document. So you can really think of it as having a limit of 10 different projects. So let's go ahead and open one of the test parts that I made. You can see the part here is contained within the Part Studio 1 tab. I can create more parts within this Part Studio or I can create additional part studios by simply clicking Create Part Studio. You can also create additional assembly tabs where you can put parts together into an assembly, obviously. Uh, you can also create drawing tabs if you want to export something as DS DXF or create technical drawings. So let's just do that real quick here. And there's our new drawing tab. Let's grab that part from that. Uh, do front view, right view. No, let's do front view. Okay, bop. There we go, stick it on there. And so this is this should be fairly familiar uh, to anyone who's used to working with uh, DWG Editor. So let's go back to the Part Studio. Onshape has most of the basic features you'd expect from a decent parametric modeler. Um, so let's actually, here, let's just go ahead and uh, let's grab the front face and let's, let's sketch. We're gonna sketch uh, on this plane right here. Uh, let's stick a circle in here. Let's, let's just, there, right there, there, circle. 
and let's dimension the circle. Okay, so let's make that 0.5. There we go, half inch diameter circle. Yeah, great. Now let's um, let's just do basic extrude. So we want to extrude that one. We'll go blind. Flip the direction. Let's see where we're we going here. Whoop. Not flip the direction again. So yeah, it has all your basic features. There we go. That's good enough. This is this is silliness. So there, I have added a pin. Obviously, that sketch and extrude was a bit underdefined, considering I didn't actually add any constraints or dimension it relative to any other face or any other part of the uh, of the object. But whatever, I was just. I just felt like making a cylinder. Anyway, if you have any interest at all in giving CAD modeling a shot, or maybe you just want to try something a bit more sophisticated than SketchUp for your next project, seriously give Onshape a try. Uh, I'm not being sponsored or anything by these guys, I just stumbled across it and think that it's really cool, especially considering it's free, and it, it really feels a lot like using SolidWorks. The usage conventions um, or interface conventions are very similar, so jumping from SolidWorks to this uh, should be really, really easy. And if you've never used any kind of CAD software before, but, you know, have a head for geometrically creating things, give it a shot. It's really easy. Oh yeah, there are also a lot of tutorials and samples that are available through the dashboard. You just have to click Tutorials and Samples, or you can browse the public section. So let's open up an example here. Here's one of the sample files available through Onshape. Uh, as I mentioned, there's also a public section where a bunch of people have shared their work publicly. This is just one of the files that was provided by the Onshape makers, which, by the way, uh, consists of the original SolidWorks team, which is why it feels so much like SolidWorks, probably. But anyway, as you can see, this is a final assembly here, and they've actually uh, inputted all of the criteria necessary to characterize motion. So you can see I can grab the top plate here, and move it around and well okay that wasn't quite right but it is a sample file <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh oh come back down come back down okay there we go hmm well okay so you can see that the complex motion is not perfect like I said this is still a beta but it can do it and like I said there are lots of example files to look through um, and you can look at the different assembly pages. So here's the actual piston assembly itself. And uh, let's see, this should be the design studio. For, yeah, this is the design studio page for the piston. And this was the sub assembly page for the piston. And then this was the, uh, the complete assembly. All of this is counted as a single document. So, you know, that 10 document limit doesn't seem so scary when you think of it as, you know, a whole project like this. Well, I hope you found this video interesting and or useful. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Later.